Good afternoon, welcome back to T3. On today's show, we've got some very cool products from Game Deus. So sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. Alrighty then, so we are culminating the Game Deus Expose with the cooling products. I've got the Aeolus fan kit and the Chio and water cooler sitting here in front of me. These are the two in question, very RGB and pretty decent quality, especially at the price. Once again, the, the quality from Game Deus is really, really strong and I'm going to show you why. So we will start off here with the fan kits. So you get four 120 mils in this for around 700 rand which is really really good especially considering that on the front or of well both sides actually of this fan kit there are nice big rubber grommets so it won't rattle or make a hum in your case so that will run quite nicely it then has the single fan header that it comes out to over here to control well basically everything pretty much because they give you a really really good control box so this is the control box here in question okay as you can see there's a bunch of fan headers on the front and it's mimicked on the back of it as well so you can connect up to six fans to a single control box which is really 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 nice then on the side of it over here we see an output that can go into an addressable rgb header so if your motherboard does have it you can control all six fans just from that header but if you don't have an addressable rgb then they've got you catered for as well with this here little controller so you'll be able to run everything through this quite nicely um, it's it's got some promising functionality we'll obviously have to install it to make sure that it does what it says it does but on the surface of things it looks very very promising then we have this 280 more radiator and i'm going to be pairing the both of them up and i'll show you why let's take that out of the way over there we have huge fans with this kit because it is a 280 mil rad so they've given two big 140 mils in the exact same style as the 120s that i've just shown you over there then they do provide it with its own box and remote as well but i'm not going to be needing this because i'm going to have six fans in total in the kit and then i can run all of them off of a single box which is really nice so if you are pairing up your game gears with more game gears you're catered for 100 percent which is Pretty good, I must say, it's really nice going. And then we got this big old single one, a 20 millimeter kind of thick radiator, which is very standard. I'm sure it'll be great. And then we've got the pump head. I think this is going to be the limiting factor for this uh, kit, is if this pump is good, then it will be very good and it should run quite well. It's got a nice copper bottom. If I turn it around there for you, so you guys can see it is fully copper on the bottom. So yeah, that's got a lot of potential. Um, I think the best thing to do is throw it in the machine and see what it does. And there we have it all slapped into the build. It was very, very, very easy, I must say. They've used the standard AMD bracket for the actual pump head mount, which is usually the most difficult part of doing the install, but literally removing everything and putting everything back in took as little as 35 or 40 minutes if you're starting from scratch i don't think it would take you more than half an hour in most cases to put this in so yeah very very good job there from game deals and it looks absolutely fantastic the remote and the built-in box functionality that this has is just incredible i mean if you just get in here so let me put this on there you go it's it's got a lot let me just say that it's got a lot of functionality there's an incredibly large amount of things that you can do with this remote and then it still can spit out an addressable rgb header to go into your motherboard so by all means on that front it's looking fantastic and if that wasn't enough you can also control your fan speed universally from the controller which is a bit more than fantastic if i'm honest so Without further ado, let's get into the benchmarks and see if the performance matches the beauty. All 
Alrighty then, so we've seen how good these dual ringlet RGB fans look inside the case, how nice the cool is and all the wonderful lighting effects and all that kind of stuff, but does it work? Does it actually do the job that is intended? And in a short TLDR version, yes, yes it does, actually very, very well. So if we look at the primary benchmark stats for the cooling itself, the Game Gear's Cheon 280R, we see that we have an average improvement of about 17% over our 240mm radiator benchmark. And if we look at the open case performance, it's almost in line with a 360mm radiator. It's in fact right, right next to it, especially on the open average. Now, I did manage to increase the ambient temperature. We are testing in winter, but I managed to get my room up to a nice toasty 21 degrees, closing off everything and putting on some heaters and that kind of stuff. So so the testing parameters were quite similar when compared to what we had tested before. Now, of course, with these kind of results, I wasn't satisfied. I was like, no, faster, make it faster. And with the 4.2 gig overclock that I'm able to slap onto this machine, I did manage to get a 61 degree average out of this cooler, which is just phenomenal. It's actually even better than the 360 mm radiator. So the loop on this is obviously very, very efficient. The pump in here must be very, very good. But then moving on to the fan kits themselves, we did see a very, very good result there as well with our GPU stress test. It came through with a 67 degree maximum over a 10 minute fire strike benchmark and that was with an average of 2088 megahertz it returned a 99 percent frame rate stability so it was very very stable and very very cool which means that the kit does the job while looking good doing it And there we have Game Deus in a nutshell. This is the last episode of our expose. We have done all of the discotheque functionalities that they do from their peripherals to their cooling. So we hope you guys have a clear view of the brand now here in South Africa. Thank you all so much for watching though. Hit us up with a like and subscribe. We'll see you in the next one. Bye bye.